So far, we've created a single content node based on a document type with a set of properties. We've then rendered the content in a template, and we now have a nice looking front end. So far, so good. In this video, I'll be introducing you to the concept of master templates. This feature will come in really handy when we start expanding our Umbrapo project in the coming videos. Let's get started. So our front page here. Currently, we have a set of different elements in our HTML structure for the website. There's a navigation bar up here, a banner here with a title and a subtitle. Then if we scroll all the way down the, to the bottom of the page, we have a footer here as well. Now these are all elements that we want to show on all pages on our website, right? And not just here on the front page. One way to do this would of course be to simply copy and paste the code into each template we're going to create. Yeah, you've already guessed that that's not what we're going to be doing here. No, that wouldn't be smart at all. Instead, we're going to be creating a master template to hold all these static elements for our site. Great, let's head into the back office and find our homepage templates. See to the settings section and templates down here. There it is. So what we want to do here is take all this, the HTML tag, the head section, the body, navigation, and the Jumbotron here with the title and subtitle. We want to take all of that. And then here at the bottom, we also want to take the entire footer here and the rest of the document. So that will leave the homepage template with only the main container section here, which contains the body text, the gray banner area, the blog posts, and the call to action, which is specific to the homepage. Now, before we start grabbing all that, let's create the master template. So we'll right click over here on the templates folder, select create, and we'll call our master template master. We'll save it. Now, first up, we're going to take all the code from the home page template. So we're going to select everything, copy it and paste it directly into our master template here. Now, here at the top, we need to make sure not to overwrite this section. So we will instead remove this part. There we go. We'll save it. And then we want to get rid of everything that is in the main container. So from the Jumbotron here, we'll take everything all the way down to where the footer begins. We'll just delete that. And we'll leave a few lines free here in the middle. All right, let's save the master template and back to the homepage template where we want to get rid of all the stuff that we just kept in the master template. So that means the HTML, head, body, navigation, Jumbotron. We'll re remove that. And then all the way down here, we will get rid of the footer as well as these end tags down here. Great, so I will just clean this up a little bit. There we are. So we'll go ahead and save our homepage template. Great. Now in order for the homepage template here to use the HTML structure from the template we just created, we need to define a master template. That's done by clicking up here. And from the dialog, we'll select our master template. And now you'll see that the layout value here is updated with the name of our master template file. We'll go ahead and save. And you'll notice that we're sent to the settings dashboard here because our homepage was nested under the master template. This way we can easily identify which template inherits from our master template. Great. Now, final thing we need to do is to head back to our master template. And here we need to make sure that all the content from our homepage template and other templates that we'll be adding a bit further on that all content from them is rendered along with our master template. Okay, so we'll find the little empty space. Here we are. And we'll be rendering out the content from the other templates by using a method called render body. So this will take the contents of the templates using this as a master template and render it out right here. So you can either type this out like I just did or click section up here and choose render child template. All right, let's save the master template. 
And that's all we needed to do in order to set up our master template. Now let's head back to the front end and refresh. Now if we did everything right, we should simply see the exact same as before. Yeah, looks like we did it correctly. Cool. We will now be able to use the master template for all the templates we'll be setting up later on in this chapter and ensure that our website has a consistent look. In the next video, we'll be extending our website by repeating the process of creating and configuring document types, creating content and setting up templates. And that was it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.